So let's talk a little bit about gear. Let's. Um, can you tell me what instruments, what guitars you used on the yeah. album? And um, what you've got there. Well, I used a Mainton six string, Mainton uh, or uh, Australian made guitar, um, based out of Victoria, and um, this is actually a guitar that my wife's a musician, <laughs> and um, and uh, she wanted a guitar for her band um, and for her guitar, so I got this one made for her, <laughs> and it was one of the best sounding maintenance I've ever, ever heard and I stole it off her oh. once I got it made for her which, and I haven't gotten her a new one oh, yet no. so bad bad hubby <laughs> but um so yeah I played this I, I um I played um a Telecaster a Fender Telecaster American made one that I got in Paris years ago that's just amazing it sounded amazing like without being plugged in it was just like it just had oh, really? it had the voodoo yeah. and then i plugged it into a really crappy amp to do a, a little tutorial and it just still sounded amazing <laughs> um just had something so i played that for blaming on me i play a lot of um there's a couple of silver tones mm -hmm. uh a silver tone jupiter and a silver tone like it's like a hollow body it's like a i think it's kind of like a, a fender kind of rip off f hole semi mm -hmm. semi hollow body kind of thing and they both have DRM and pickups which I just love through Marshalls and Fenders they're just amazing uh, I played Weisenborn through one song called You're Free um, which is acoustic and through a Marshall with through a tube screamer so it's like this this very clean sparkly sound with this massively distorted big room uh, Marshall kind of sound, which is a lot. What of song fun. was that on? You're free. It's You're the free. last okay. song on the album, and it has. It, it sounds like it almost sounds like backwards guitar. Yeah, it's yeah. really slow, but it's just all this. Weisenborn played through it, this blown out Marshall, which is kind of one of my most favorite things to do. Um, and that's about it. Lots of six string. Quite a bit. Of, um, quite a bit of. A, no twelve string. Go no ahead. twelve string on the album, but I play a few of these songs with twelve string yeah. live because they just. Give that extra kind Sound of nice. yeah, yeah yeah like kind of make up for the tracks that are missing off the album yeah, in a way yeah yeah, yeah. Right, right. and did you sort of I mean you talked about plugging it using a Marshall but did you did you experiment with recording on the other songs too or were you pretty traditional with how you um, recorded the guitars Ah, uh, yeah it's fairly traditional I mean I always well, I mean, it's traditional in a John Butler trio sense yeah. which I don't think is very traditional for most other acoustic guitarist. I, I use a nice Neumann here, another directional Neumann there. I, I go through two pickups, so I have a bridge pickup, a maintenance bridge pickup, and the Seymour Duncan mag mic. That goes into, uh, well, basically to really tech out on you, it goes into a two-channel, a two-channel Midas, and that's my blender. And yeah. I take one channel out of that, which blends these two pickups, and that that's my acoustic sound. So my acoustic sound is literally Two pickups blended, two microphones, and and the and the pickups go through a DI, which then I put through a clean amp, a clean fender, and that's all my acoustic sound. Mm -hmm. Then I take a return out of my magnet, mag magnetic, and I send that through to either a real blown out Fender Deville, or uh, into a Tube Screamer, a volume pedal, and into a Marshall JCM 800 or JMP Super Lead, and then yeah, so I could be kind of playing acoustic. And then I could just kind of hit the accelerator pedal of this volume pedal and um, and make it go from very clean to very really. <laughs> it's kind of like almost like a pedal steel kind of idea in a way. Yeah. It's an idea I got from Jeff Lang, a great Australian guitarist and singer songwriter. So that's that's my traditional setup, uh -huh. and you know, and it might just depend whether I go. You know, sometimes that DI signal is just going actually straight to a Fender, and not going to a clean app. It's going to a dirty signal like in. Uh, Bullet Girl has a bit of that really sweet acoustic sound, but the magnetics yeah. being sent to uh, Fender Deville, which is quite distorted, so I could blend it in in certain sections a little more than others. Or, so um, that's not traditional. Yeah, yeah. So, but that, yeah, that's my and that's my traditional kind of setup. So if you, if you ever came and saw me live, I'd have these two pickups being clean going out the front. That's my acoustic, and I'd 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 bring in a really really overdriven um, Marshall or Deville. Mm -hmm. uh, for most songs so it's like the best of both worlds that's why i was telling you before like i play acoustic guitar but it's probably more electric than anything and then as far as pedals uh I go through a whammy pedal into a tremolo pedal into an ep um 
it's like a EP, it's like a boost pedal, mm -hmm. um, into Super Phaser, into uh, Voodoo Lab Micro Vibe, um, into a really great delay pedal. It's a new delay pedal um, by Caroline. It's called a, um, it's called the Kilobyte, okay. which is an awesome pedal. It's an awesome pedal. It's like it has great delay, and every time it feeds back, it it, it kind of feeds back more distorted and more distorted. It's yeah. very analog, but it also has this other button. It's like an expression button that you when you hit it, you can just extend the feedback forever. So it's w wicked. So you, you hit your delay and it just duck, 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 duck. But you hit the delay and hit this other pedal and it goes duck, 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 duck. <laughs> and gets really dubby. So there's a lot of that. And then into a wall pedal and then into a, um, like a loop pedal. Huh. And that's, that's kind of my main world. And then the return, the return then goes into a Maxon, I think a Maxon a Tube Screamer. Ernie ball pedal into the Marshall. So yeah, the Marshall's extremely angry sounding. <laughs> and then so all those sounds kind of together can really, I guess um, songs like Wings Are Wide, I think Wings Are Wide had the phaser pedal, the tremolo, and the delay pedal used with the whammy pedal, used with the Marshall, with the acoustic. <laughs> so there's like a really far out sounding, like acoustic electric guitar sound on that song. And then, Songs like "Blame It On Me" with the telly, with the with the phaser and and, and the micro vibe, yeah. So there's lots of lots of toys. So you, I was saying you have lots of toys on stage with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, you know, it's, you it's, have to it's, do a little bit of dancing. It, there's a bit of dancing. I used to sit down. It was great. I used to sit down and be able to have two feet. It was just like it's like in the cockpit of a you know, space shuttle. But now I kind of do it all with one foot because I stand. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. And do you play? In open tunings too. I play do you do yeah, that in lots. A, a, on the songs and this album. Yeah, there's heaps of tunings on this album. There's uh, a lot of this tuning, which is um, this is like a G tuning, G major tuning with a low C. So if you start on the A string, it's G D G B D, and then with a low C, which is like one of my favorites. Um, and then there's Dad Dad, and then there's lots of there's a couple of Dad Fads, uh, D major tunings, and, mm -hmm. um, and a few few standard tunings, yeah, a couple standard tunings, and that's about. So when you it. write, when you write, you just try a new tuning and see. Um, see what comes out. <laughs> yeah, well, a lot of times it just matters what What's the guitar what, is already what, in. I was gonna say, I was gonna say that, that probably happens. You yeah, just pick yeah. up a guitar and it's. Tune that yeah, and then you just kind of muck around with it, yeah. But yeah, um, yeah, I like open tunings. I've gone back to a lot of standard tunings of, of late, and um, it's kind of informed how I go, you know, play in open tuning. So it's really nice. I, I, I played for from 16 to 21. Um, I played a lot in standard tuning, and uh, and the minute I found open tuning, it kind of completely <laughs> opened up a whole new way of playing, and I, I finally found my voice on guitar. And once I had my voice going back to standard tuning, it was actually really, really a lot of fun. Mm. Now I kind of do both a bit more. So, oh, it's on the sound Devil Woman and Blame It On Me and... and <laughs> what's the other song? Cold Wind. They're all standard tuning songs, yeah. which, you know, never used to be the case. Okay. So you, you mix it up. You're just left hand, you gotta remember. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't, and, I, and like my band, I'm constantly asking, what, you know, what key are we in? Because I literally just, yeah, put a capo on. I, I haven't bothered remembering right. where I should be because I'd have to remember every fretboard and different tunings with capos on, which many guitarists do because they're a lot more intelligent than I am, but I don't bother. Or they just don't mind having all that stuff in their brain. Oh, they just have a better brain to kind of take it all, and I don't exactly know. 